Finelli, what you're doing, what you have been doing for my daughter, I don't know how to thank you. Well, I appreciate your sentiments, but I'm not sure Maxie would agree. If we honored what Maxie wanted, she'd be trapped in a cell for the next 20 years. Thanks to you, she's officially off the hook. I wouldn't go official just yet, Commissioner. Still haven't seen this so-called new evidence. There's nothing so-called about it. Maxie didn't kill Lisa Niles. And you're convinced of this because... Because we have a picture to show who did. Oh, my God. What happened to you? What, what happened to her? Really? Really? Nothing? Thank you. Thank you very much. It's okay, okay. It's no, okay. You, you, you have a black yeah, eye. No, no, my... My cellmate is a little um, clumsy, and she, she knocks into me a lot, so, um... <laughs> you don't happen to have a nail file on you, do you? No, no, not on me. I know. Well, Sorry. Maybe you could remember to bring one next time. There isn't gonna be a next time. You're getting out of here. What exactly am I looking at here? Well, more to the point is what you were not looking at, namely Maxie. See this? It's Lisa Niles, and that is the murder weapon. Clearly, that man is not my daughter. Well, which means said daughter is innocent. Prison is where I belong, okay? And you have to accept that, all right? I have. And, you know, I really wasn't kidding about that nail file thing. I really need one. I've, I've already broken about three nails on my okay, stupid cell door, so... I'll tell you what, when you get out of here, the first facial and manicure, they're gonna be on me, all right? Okay, well, I hope you have enough to pony up for a facelift you as well. You a facelift? Come on, are you kidding? Yeah, now, okay, but maybe in 20 years... Hey, if all goes well, you're gonna be out of here in a couple of days. I can't make out a thing. Um, okay, uh, Lisa? Man? Wrench. Maxie is nowhere near this crime. Yeah, which you can plainly see being committed. Plainly? This evidence proves Maxie made a false confession. She wasn't involved in Lisa's death. And where exactly did this evidence come from? Spinelli has proof that you didn't kill Lisa. No, no, what kind of proof? He, he found the killer. Back up. What do you mean Spinelli found the real killer? Yeah, indeed, there were no cameras on, on the, board the festive yacht, but there were other vessels in the harbor, one in particular in direct line of sight, with security cameras running. The Haunted Star? Turns out that we weren't anchored too far from that business, which Spinelli assumed had some security cameras. But weren't pointed right at the party? I, I, know, I, I, I highly doubt that. What are the odds, right? But it turns out that they're in your favor. Look, I know it's grainy, but this is Lisa Niles, is it not? So it appears. And this is someone bludgeoning her with what appears to be a wrench. So you can actually see the murder being committed? But you can't see the killer's face. <laughs> then how can you be sure that it's not me? I think we can all agree this is not a woman. And by applying the most basic Which means it's not my daughter. Yeah, precisely. All right, then. Who is it? is attacking Lisa it's it's definitely a man I, there's no question so we, we have the proof you're in the clear wh whether you want to be or not I can't believe Spinelli did this to me to you no no he did this for you I know he and I had some to differences keep their promises. No, he's been a phenomenal the friend that they get you can trust what you see here all right technology is Spinelli's field of expertise that's not to speak for he's a genius no oh, he's an idiot and I'll never forget him Maxie never Take it from the security footage on the night of the accident. So in light of this new evidence, I move that my client's confession be set aside and her sentence be vacated so that she can be released as soon as possible. Is the district attorney's office in agreement? I most certainly am not. You know, I should have known I couldn't trust Spinelli. He's all blinded by his feelings for me or whatever. Oh, thank God. But whose side are you on? Yours. Same as Spinelli. And Mac, and every single person, except for you. You're the only person. I deserve to be here, Matt. Why? Because because of what happened to Robin, you want to blame yourself. Because I, I'm guilty. OK, fine. Fine, you want to blame yourself? Punish yourself for the rest of your life? You go ahead and do it, but you're not going to do it in here. Maxie, look at you. Yeah, I'll take a pass, thanks. I mean, these jumpsuits, I can't even no, talk about this. forget this. Forget this jumpsuit. I'm not talking about this. Look at, look, look at your face. Uh, my nails? So you admit, you want to get out of here, right? Yeah, of course I do. You think I don't 
Mountain Dream, top bubble baths, and five-star restaurants, and I don't know, maybe some sheets that smell like they've been washed in the last century. It's, just, it's not that simple. Why not? Hey, you know, did they, did they ever figure out what about that person in the footage? What, what, what person? Well, I mean, do they have proof? They know who did it? Spinelli enhanced the footage as much as he could, but he, he, he just can't make out the face. Matt. Matt, what is it? What? I think I know... Who did it? Who did you? Spinelli thinks that the killer, whoever it was, blocked out the murder, and so that's why they didn't come forward. But no, 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 hold on. I, ha I have to get this off my chest. I think my brother killed Niles. Okay, Patrick didn't kill Lisa, okay? Not that he didn't have about a million reasons to want her dead. But Spinelli said that whoever it was, they would, just, that they would block it out. Just out of guilt. Oh, it's got guilt over what? After what she did to Robin? For I, I, all of us? I'm with you, okay? If I was judge and jury, no one should have to pay for what happened to Lisa, but... Well, especially not you, and now you're not gonna have to because of what Smanelli found out. Would you please state for the record your objection to this new evidence? I'd use the term evidence loosely. Answer the question, Consular. Where to begin? First of all, we have a confession, Your Honor, to two separate counts of murder. Neither of which my daughter committed. May I, Your Honor? Thank you. Does this photo look like Maxie Jones? That picture could be a forgery. A doctored image of pretty much anyone. Or a very unfortunate someone. Look, I am telling you that it's not true. Yeah, you, you haven't seen the footage. I mean, it is definitely a dark-haired man, and he is letting Lisa have it. And who has more reason than Patrick, right? You said it yourself. That doesn't mean that he did it. You haven't seen him lately. He can barely get himself off the couch, let alone get himself into work. What do you expect, Matt? He just lost the love of his life. That, that's what you're supposed to do, right? When you really, truly love someone, you're supposed to sacrifice yourself for the good of someone else, right? The photograph is not a fake, Your Honor. I, I procured the image in question myself. And you are? Um, Damien Spinelli? Oh, yes. I had trouble with you last time. I wouldn't call it trouble, per se. I... Apparently, this young man is some technical expert. Who is it you work for again? Uh, uh, most recently, I'm linked with my, my good friend, Samantha Morgan. Spinelli is a cyber genius, Your Honor. He can do anything with a computer, which suggests he could uh, easily I, conjure up... I think we're missing the point here. The point is, is the person here wielding the large wrench here is not my client. Again, this person could be anyone. Well, it's not a blonde, five-foot, three, twenty-something-year-old woman. If the man could be identified, I might be more inclined to support your motion. But until I see or hear some form of corroboration, I remain unconvinced that anything of merit has been unearthed, Mr. Spinezi. Uh, Consular, do you have anything to support the photograph? Just maybe Patrick is just, he's, he consciously knows that, that he did it. And so, and so maybe he's just, he's shutting himself down. You said that he blocked it out. Yeah, but, but I don't know, maybe there's just like, it's somehow like deep down inside, like he, he knows, he, he feels that guilt. And, and so he's just going to make himself pay and he's going to punish himself for this. And he's just going to, he's going to carry this guilt with him. Have you talked about this with anyone? No, no, I, I, I. Spinelli has a printout of who actually killed or committed the murder, and he showed it to Mac and, and, and Felicia. What? Yeah, no, he's with Alexis. They're talking to the judge right now. Not at this time, Your Honor. Without further corroboration, the court has no choice but to let the confession stand. Ms. Jones will continue to serve her sentence. They're gonna start looking for the man on the footage. And it's, it's not gonna be long until they get led to my brother. I, I, I have to go talk. No, to no, no, I you can't. Warn him. Why? Why don't you want me to go talk to Patrick? I just think that you and Spinelli have already done enough. And well, and like you said, the person in the video footage can't be identified, right? Okay, so so maybe that's enough to clear me. That's not how the law works. You know that. You know that. There must be.
must be something you can do. I wish there was. I don't understand. How can they just ignore what's in that photograph? It's a preemptive strike to, to save face. Neither the DA nor the judge want to look like fools by sentencing an innocent woman. But they have evidence. It's blurry evidence. If there is nothing further, the court is adjourned. No, I object! I... Fascinating. But not your place. Yeah, it is imperative that you hear what I have to say. You know what? I, I'm very supportive of that. I think we should let him speak. Me too. Let him speak. I'm listen. Okay. Let it be stated that you were risking contempt, young man. Well, I would risk much more to see justice done. Th this is not Maxie wielding the wrench. She did not do this. She, she should not be in prison. Niles is dead. And it doesn't matter how awful she was, someone's gonna have to answer for it. What do you think that I'm doing? No, no, someone who actually did it, Maxie, okay? It's not long until this investigation is gonna be reopened. Oh, I can't believe this is happening. No, it, it, Patrick deserves a no. He needs a no. No, he warning your brother won't help anything, Matt, okay? It's not gonna change a single thing. I don't know how it works in cyberspace, but in the legal world, we rely on facts. Okay, fact. Maxie is not a murderer. I see you care for this woman, but I'm afraid I have to side with the prosecution. Unless other evidence exists to... But it does. If I just hadn't drank my weight in champagne that night, then everything would have worked out so differently for everyone. Please don't do this. What? Please. What do I do? You gotta tell me, what is wrong? If anyone follows up on what Spinelli found, it's not going to lead them to Patrick. If you're harboring knowledge that affects this case... It is not, Your Honor. Yes, I am. I know the identity of the mystery man. Be clear, Mr. Spinelli. The photograph in your hands. Are you saying you know who's striking the murder victim? It's basic process of elimination, right? We know a dark-haired man killed Lisa, so how many options do we have? I, I know the killer is not Maxie Jones. Should not that suffice? Is that all you have to add? Then it seems we're back to square one now, wouldn't it? It would, yes. And it wasn't the captain because Lisa already killed him. So that leaves me and my brother, and we both know I didn't do it. Spinelli, you need to turn around and tell the judge what you know. I can't. Of course you can. No, you're not grasping the gravity of my current situation. If something that'll help Maxie, you have to yes. say that. So be her best chance. It may be her only chance. At the risk of repeating myself, the court has entertained so all the grandstanding it can tolerate. This court... But wait! You've got to be kidding me. Look, I, 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 I wasn't entirely truthful before. This is starting to get tiresome, Mr. Spinelli. I implore you to let me finish. I'm ready to tell the truth. Maxie, you are starting to really freak me out right now. I'm so sorry. No, what, what, what is going on? We're waiting. It's been a while if you know something, it's your civic duty to come forward. Wait, wait. You, you have known who has killed Lisa this entire time. Yes. The man in the photograph, the man responsible for Lisa Niles' demise, is... <laughs> you. <laughs> Please forgive me, Maxie. Speak up. Lisa Niles' true killer is Dr. Matthew Hunter. I'm so sorry.